So in this video, we have a lamina that is made from two rectangles. Now, the two rectangles have been stuck together, and they are made of the same material. So what that means is that per square metre, the mass will be the same. So we'll take account of that in our calculation. Okay, And we need to find the centre of mass. Now, what you want to do is to split this up into two rectangles. How you split it up is really up to you, it doesn't matter. I'm going to split it up this way. So I've got rectangle A and then rectangle B. If you split it up in a different way you should still get to the same answer. Now I'm going to choose this corner to be O. Okay, so essentially this is kind of like your origin, and then we could work out the coordinates of the centre of mass, which is probably going to be somewhere over here, isn't it? Okay, so we have lamina A, lamina B. I'm also going to have a total. We need the mass. We need the centre of mass of the two rectangles, okay, the coordinates of that for x and y. We're then going to multiply the mass by the x and the mass by the y. Okay, so here's my table already. So for lamina A, its mass is, well, we know that it's proportional to its area, so 10 times 3 is 30, so we can write its mass as 30k. And for B, it is 8 times 6, so that would be 48k. Now, the centre of mass of rectangle A will be 1.5 metres along, 5 metres up. So 1.5 by 5. That's the centre of mass of A, because it would have to be in the centre of the rectangle. Now, as for B, um, that's 3 metres long, so it's going to be in the middle here, so 4 metres, that's 7 metres along in the X direction, and 3 metres up in the Y direction. Okay, so what have we got then? Uh, M times X, so that's going to be 45K and then 150K, so 30K times 5. We've got 48K times 7, so 336K, and then 3 lots of 48 is 144K. So the total mass here is 78k. The 45 plus 336 is 381k, and then 294k. So for our x bar, the average of the x, we've got 381k divided by 78k. So 381 divided by 78 is 127 over 26, which is 4.88 metres to three significant figures. And the average for the Ys will be 294k divided by 78k, which is 49 over 13 which is 3.77 metres to three significant figures. So 4.88 and then 3.77, so it's round about somewhere there, isn't it? Probably as you would expect it to be. Now you might be thinking, OK, well, is there any point in including the Ks here? Uh, because they're all going to cancel out anyway. Um, and that, that would be true. They should all cancel out. Um, the point of including it 
um, is because you could have situations where you have uh, laminas of different uh, densities, so different masses, um, which you might need to take account of. So this is a good way of remembering that the two laminas that you're working with are of the same material. Uh, so I would always recommend including the K and I'm going to continue including it in the videos.